Santa Ponsa is part of Mallorca's Costa de la Calma area in the southwest of the island. The holiday resort has grown up around a long sheltered inlet with a large sandy beach at the top end. Along the south shore there is a huge villa development stretching up the hillside. Along the north shore there is a whole string of multi-storey hotels and apartments developed in the 60s and 70s. The sandy Blue Flag Beach is the attraction for everyone. It has been particularly popular with British and Irish tourists for some 50 years, but the bars and restaurants reflect every nationality. Behind the beach is a lively promenade with cafes and souvenir shops. This crazy theme park style frontage on the main street sets the scene for an apartment hotel behind called the Pirate's Village. A walk along the south coast provide views over to the north and leads to the Cross of Discovery which marks an important location in Majorca's history. The cross commemorates where in 1229 King James I landed to begin his conquest of Majorca, ending its 300 years under the control of the Moors. The original cross built in 1929 was destroyed by a lightning strike in 1997, but had been very quickly rebuilt. Sacaleta, the adjacent cove where he landed, is now home to Santa Ponsa Marina. The club Nautico there can berth some 500 boats up to 20 metres long. If you are wealthy enough to own something larger than that, you have to go to Port Andriano, just along the coast to the east, which can handle yachts of up to 60 metres in length. Further on, there were two viewpoints overlooking the Isles of Malgrat, which lie in a marine protected area. In this area, the buildings can be perched on top of the cliffs or even built into the side of them, and they are generally upmarket properties. I admired the craft of the stonemasons, which almost seemed like a work of art. Although this was a recently constructed viewpoint, its location at the end of a peninsula would have been the logical place in the past for a gun turret. The hillside of the peninsulas forming the inlet are dotted with top-end villas. Walking back into the town centre along a higher route gave further views of the north coast and of the Memorial Cross.
one at last sight was the town's parish church, which has an open-air nave taking advantage of Mallorca's climate. The cranes on the skyline are for ongoing developments.